Welcome to the Lab Report. I'm your host, Paul Krampitz, and today we're going to look at the European Union's regulation for waste, electrical, and electronic equipment, affectionately called WE, and the accompanying rules detailing the restriction of hazardous substances, affectionately called ROHAS. So the entire procedure is WE ROHAS, is, are the, is how we in the biz say that. Uh, the idea is to keep our landfills free from hazardous materials that may seep into our, envir into our environment. So we can't just take all this electronic equipment and throw it all into the landfill. The Rojas legislation applies to the entire European Union and also, of course, to those companies selling electronic products into the EU, which is just about everyone. The Rojas Directive bans the sales of any electronic equipment that contain hazardous materials, and many of these substances are heavy metals, as you can see from the table below. Therefore, the manufacturers are required to test all their products to ensure compliance with these directives. That means a lot of metal testing, which can be very expensive. Who does all this testing? Large manufacturers have their own labs, but a lot of this analysis is done by private independent contract labs. So today we're going to look at the technique of ICP OES applied to this application. We're also going to look at the sample preparation steps required to bring this huge variety of sample types into solution. So let's start with some examples of electronic equipment. We can have used cell phones, we can have circuit boards, we can have uh, connectors, we can have all of this sort of material. Um, that we can use to test. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this and we're going to take about 200 milligrams, 300 milligrams of this material and basically we're just going to cut it up into small pieces and we're going to put those small pieces directly into the microwave digestion vessel that also includes acids to digest those materials. It's high pressure, high temperature digestion, closed vessel, so that we don't use lose volatiles like arsenic, selenium, mercury. You simply close this up, put it into the vessel, start the program, and in about 45 minutes, including cool down, uh, the samples are um, clean and into solution. Now the samples are ready for analysis by ICP OES. We have here, right behind us here, we're going to be using the Optima 8000 ICP to do this analysis that and, and the following application that's linked into this presentation will show you all the details about it. ICP is a very good choice for this analysis because axial viewing is sensitive enough to meet the Rojas requirements, meaning low-level analysis, including we can do mercury, we can do arsenic, antimony as well. So if these are elements of interest in the future, they're very, easy, uh, very easily done on this particular unit. Uh, also, the Optima 8000 has a few unique features. Uh, that, that also make it ideal for this analysis. Everything's automated, the, optimation, the optimization's automated. We use a flat blade induction coil, which gives us a nice robust uh, plasma to handle high acids and high TDS solutions. Um, also, the total time for this entire analysis uh, on the application you'll see here is about two minutes. All of the measured levels, levels were below the Rojas limits, but you can clearly see the procedure and the advantages of using the Optima 8000 for this application. Please make sure you take a look at the application after this video. This has been the Lab Report. Thanks for joining us. Remember, if you learn something new today, you'll be smarter tomorrow.